One of the big problems is there because of not being focused when you practice or in not knowing the difference between practicing and playing and not just knowing it theoretically because one should know that, that there is a difference between practicing and playing because when you play you may play five hours a day but that is not upgrading your playing you are not getting to, be to play better because of that you can play all life like that and don't go anywhere still have the same limitations in technique, in rhythm, etc. So therefore, when you practice that, that, that's why you need a teacher, because then some, someone from outside can see what you need, and then, then you actually do it and overcome the obstacles and upgrade your playing. Right? All these things require attention, and, and to, to pay attention you need to be interested and to think. Right? When someone is interested in a topic, he pays attention. Right? Like now, I don't know, I don't believe too much in this ADD thing, but because in Canada I have some experience with guys that, that were like some, the, the father, of, I have one study and he has a son that was apparently addicted to this video game thing. And he said, this guy has ADD, did, 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 all these ADD things, labeling there to put pharmaceutical stuff and give drugs to this child, so, etc. I don't agree with that, but anyway, the thing is that I'm not expert in the topic, but what I know is that this guy, he said he has ADD and cannot pay attention, but if you put a computer in front, he's immediately like this, with perfect uh, uh, jockey attention, right? And perfect attention to the topic. Why? Because that's what he likes. In video game, he can he, he's what great player, so he's, he he can do that. Means he has to put attention, otherwise he would be killed by the machine, or I don't know, right? And the only thing I played long time ago when I was a child was Pac-Man, of the first kind. <laughs> so I'm um, very a layman on that. But what I say is that if you are if if you are interested in something, you pay attention to that. So forget about I have ADD and all this. To me, it's more of excuse and a uh, thing designed by the pharmaceutical industry, but anyway, even if you think it's not, the fact is, as far as you don't pay attention in the learning process of guitar, you are not getting any improvement at all. You need to be focused, really. Just like, like Paco. Paco said, I, I, I spent 20 years of my life closed in four walls in my room, and, you know, when the child was asking the school to Fill the questionnaire, the name of the father, Francisco Sanchez Gomez, like that, occupation of the father, music, uh, a student of music. And then the one professor came there, and then the 
the dean of the school also said, why, why you wrote this child? And then the child said, I don't know, he was seven or eight years old. And he said, well, I never seen my father at home, but, but when he's there, my mother said, says always, don't bother your father because he's studying guitar. So I guess that's what he's doing, right, as a job. So why? Because you have to be focused, really absorbed into the thing. When you are really, actually, you enjoy only something if you are not distracted. But that's what the enjoyment is of watching a movie or any experience, nice experience you have in life, eating a good meal or anything, going to the beach, anything you do, which is really an, an enjoying experience comes from Paying attention to think you are just doing, you can do one thing at a time, and this is proof. Now there is proof that this multitasking thing doesn't work because they did the studies of mathematical equations and things with people doing multitasking and not doing multitasking, and the guys who were doing multitasking did not got good points on the on the, on the calculations and these things. They were doing many mistakes. Which means that I am prone to believe that that human mind can do one thing at a time, and then therefore, if I am practicing the scale, and then of course at some point you can do mechanically the thing, but anything you do mechanically it, it loses meaning because because you are not there present, you are where your mind is, and you have to be present there. This is an obstacle. For example, now I am teaching here training, and you 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 can notice this a lot that people generally guys have great ear, but they struggle to get the chords of the pieces. Why? Because they don't pay attention. Just that. It's just just that I saw from just last week a couple of guys when they, they I said pay attention really, and then they did, and immediately they knew this is a major. Like they immediately could got the chords. Why? Because attention is the power. The power is in the focus. Uh, One-pointed attention, that is where the power is. Because that is like a microscope that penetrates the, the, the measurement of the thing, whatever it goes to, to the deepest level. Right? Inside the object, you have to go in, in, get inside music, right? But unless you get understanding why you are learning this, and you are free from doubts, and you cannot do it, of course. And then it would be very superficial. Forget about this. The best players now are amateur players for fun. Amateur means am amante that loves to do it. <laughs> this is what it means. And I am amazed to see these guys that play much better than professionals, of course. Because professional, whenever there is involved, this is a job that like, you play professionally. Apart from the fact that, that, that it never suits me, I enjoy much more by making others play than, than by playing myself. Right? I think I could not be a performer, of course I could be a performer with the level I have playing, but I never liked this thing because it doesn't have value for me. I train people doing that also, some very now well known etc but it's not for me this thing i like much more teaching because it, it, it allows me more focus and i learn also from the students as well and i do enjoy how they improve and how they actually upgrade their playing so in in this point when you if you put it and actually this is why it is enjoy enjoying thing to play <laughs> because you forget about everything else the moment you focus on music the problems outside does not exist anymore, and that people love it because they they were not thinking on themselves or on the on the problems they have or the pending things to do, etc. Right. So then, therefore, in that moment that you forget that and get into music, this is so beautiful because you, when you are actually playing or practicing properly, only that moment is important. That is so beautiful. So we should all aspire to, to, to find out how I can become like that. It's not that Paco de Lucia was Paco de Lucia because he was very virtuosistic and he was very talented. No, it was because he had this quality. He could be one with one point of attention with the topic. 
and then of course got amazing results from it. Un amigo que se descubría ahí el, la improvisación. La improvisación es algo que yo pienso que cada músico debería, cada músico del estilo que sea, del clásico, del flamenco, de cualquier otra música debería, debería aprender porque la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando y cómo estás tocando y qué armonías están en cada momento. ¿no? Pablo, sí, Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo andalucí. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el que el, que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, que nos pasamos muchas horas eh, elaborando esa música.